When I had a camera and I looked at the sea horizons, I felt that I was part of a performance where I was observing uh, light and weather systems in a profound empty space. And within that, at different moments, things would occur which were powerful, reflective, sad, immense, affirmative. I could witness them and be affected by them, but also by making an exposure, I could make them visible um, to show to other people. I had to have somewhere to live when I left home and I decided to go and live in a, in a house in uh, Clevedon, about 15 miles from Bristol. And I, I was attracted to go there rather than somewhere else. And it was because the house was on a cliff overlooking the sea. So it was something to do with wanting to place myself in a built up area, but with a big area of space outside of my window. And then that became my first subject which was to observe the seven estuary from the windows of my house and at some point decide I would photograph it in a fairly conceptual way. I would photograph always from the same place. On the south side of its kind of angle of vision, it would be stopped by the Victorian pier of Clevedon going out into the estuary and that would be out of the picture and then that would set the angle uh, that I would shoot, I would take the image coming north, and then I was just photographing the space in front of me. I placed the horizon in the middle, and then I would observe and wait for events to happen. And because I would live there every day, it was in continuous flux. Every day, it was continually changing it was controlled by the weather systems of the Seven Estuary, which are immense. It was controlled by the cycle of at what point the sun rose and set. And I did this for all of 75 and all of 76. And pretty much that's all I did in the way of making work as an artist or wanting to be an artist. When I looked across the, the Seven Estuary from England, um, from a, a balcony in Clevedon, across the horizon, I was looking into something profound. Um, and, and somehow, whatever my purpose was, and whatever art might achieve, was kind of contained in that space. And the camera could allow me to look at it in an incredibly intense way, almost like give me permission to just look, and things would happen. Um, and I would observe these things and I would make an exposure and hold that, that moment of the performance. As I made those pictures, I didn't really understand that really what I was doing was, I was trying to understand myself by looking at the horizon and just know if I look long enough, I begin to understand who I was and, and quite how I should be functioning in the world and, the emotional condition of being alive and, 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 and wanting to try and shape things in a way which were uh, positive um, about being alive and being human. You know, the horizon allowed you to do that. But then as time passed, and probably as time passed over a number of years, I realized what I'd been doing was, was photographing the horizon, which was this speculative subject as to what exists beyond, where is the future. You know, you began to realize that what you'd been recording and photographing was a place, Wales, um, which was the subject of my view. So then as you looked at the pictures, you realised that as many pictures were about a place as they were about an intellectual position, about thinking. And so many of these pictures were describing places where people lived. And you could see factories in Newport, you could see skyscrapers in Cardiff. And with the exhibition in Cardiff, you know, it's all kind of come to resolution that this body of work has found its home, you know, in, in a way that we couldn't, have, I couldn't have imagined. And if they belong anywhere, they belong at the place that I was trying to understand myself by looking across a space. And then suddenly this is like the wonderful conclusion of it all. Um, the first thing I ever made is existing in the place it was made about. And while we've worked on the exhibition, you know, I've had the opportunity to come to the museum and go and visit the coastline and look back at the place where I've made the pictures from, which I'd never ever done in 50 years. And that's like 
you know, very uh, special. It's like I'm looking back at 50 years ago of my life for the first time. I think the Sea Horizon pictures were the first thing I did and they helped me find my way into the world. I hope their kind of universality would enable my equivalent person believe that they could make that world for themselves in the way that I did. It, it, it's believing that you can make a life and not believe that you have to accept a life. I was fortunate in understanding that this looking across a large expanse of water to a horizon kind of could be a bridge to finding out where I was meant to go. And, and so for me, the Morwellian exhibition is just a very hopeful story about how life can be shaped. And um, you've just got to believe in, in what you'd like the world to be and not give up. And the fact you can end up in a situation where I could be showing this work 50 years later and it, it matters is just like really hopeful, it seems to me.